Hi. Hi, everyone. This is Mahabeli, and I've got a group of people who are going to do a reflection activity with me today. And this one is called Broccoli Ice Cream. And it's about reflecting on learning that you've had throughout the past, say, week or month or whatever. Um, and we would call these things either ice cream or broccoli or both or neither. So ice cream is something that you enjoyed but doesn't actually have nutritional value, which is ice cream. Um, but just generally something you enjoy, but you didn't learn a lot from. And broccoli is something that has nutritional value, but not necessarily enjoyable. Now, you can argue that, you know, I like broccoli and I think ice cream does have calcium or whatever in it, sometimes has fruit. But anyway, the idea is to, to compare value versus enjoyability and to recognize that some activities can be both, right? And some mm -hmm. activities can be neither. So I've got some folks here with me in the main room and we've got a slide deck that they can edit. And we can have a discussion around it as we as we go around. So does anyone want to start? I'll share the screen as you guys type and I'll be the teacher and be quiet. <laughs> Do you have a particular slide number that you want us to be editing in? Yeah, uh, so you guys are in the main room because other people are in the breakout room. You see it, number 14? When I've done this in class, I, I told students, what is your broccoli and what is your ice cream first? Because if someone really likes broccoli, this is not a good metaphor for them. That's, I think that's important to let people say that as well so that they're not stuck with it. I would say that one of my ice cream moments this week was, you know, reading something spontaneous and just really enjoying it, um, but not necessarily having the time to really deeply reflect on it. Um, but, you know, just thinking about, oh, I have to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. And knowing that there's something that I want to write about or, or do more. And in particular, that was reading Emergent Strategy. Cool. Uh, so that's something that's potentially valuable. Mm -hmm. Just that in the moment you didn't have time to sit and reflect. In the moment I'm like I'm underlying, making notes in the, and like to come back to but feeling like I didn't have time mm -hmm. to do the deep reflection that I wanted to do because mm -hmm. it wasn't related to what I had to do at the moment. Right. That's, that's a really cool point about at the moment, it wasn't related to what you were doing. And that's why it, it stayed in the ice cream phase. What about others? I think for me, one of the, the things I enjoyed that that has the least direct value for what I do day to day was one of the previous community building sessions uh, was not just having a nice chat with friendly people, but also just to get a sense of the diversity in types of people and types of institutions and the way we do our work across the world to feel that sense of uh, yeah, not just connection, but also just it opening up and seeing that there were things that I never really thought about. Um, I don't see that as super directly valuable to as something I can apply or, or anything, um, but I really, really enjoyed that. What about you, Heather? Yeah, I think that um, doing some of these asynchronous um, life as activities has been super fun. For example, the daily create. Um, I think it's nice uh, for me to get the creative juices flowing, to think about things in a different way, and also to see how other people do the daily creates. Mm -hmm. So that's just been fun, I would say. So I had an interesting thought um, as, as you were setting this assignment up, well, maybe not interesting, interesting to me, but it sort of aligns with, um, you know, some, some, other conversations that I've had in, in other spaces, you know, we often look at reflection as a luxury or something extra or something, you know, like it's, it's, it's a use of time that it become goes to the bottom of the priority list, especially when we're working. Um, and yet we value it for students and we want students to do it. And we don't necessarily build reflective habits for ourselves, but we try to build it into our classes. So I really think that this is a, you know, an interesting approach to it. But I think, you know, that getting everything into that valuable and enjoyed spot is really where we want to get to. That's a great point. 
So not only for our students, but for ourselves. I think it's so valuable when educators get into a reflection habit, but it's hard to get them started on it because I think at first they think it's broccoli. But I think when you start doing it, it becomes enjoyable or you find a way that you enjoy it, whether doing it in community or alone. So I was thinking about um, Heather's comment about the daily creates and I keep looking at them. I'm like, oh, I really want to do that. I mean, that's just so interesting, but I don't have time today. I don't have space in my brain to do this today. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm missing it. Oh, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. I know this. Mm -hmm. I know I want to do this. Maybe that's where it's the broccoli. It's like, I know this would be really good for me, even though it's not directly re related to what I want to do. I know I want to do this, but I have to do all these other things first. Um, mm -hmm. And like the MyFest sessions that I've done, I'm squeezing them in among, you know, other things. And there's so much rich content here that taking, but I'm like, I don't have time. And I see all these blog posts coming out. I'm like, I, I wish I, and I, I do think it's a way we look at, um, the way we look at reflection as like, I, at least in, in my context, I don't necessarily think that's everywhere, but in my context, we look at reflection as sort of a luxury. It's something extra. It's time that we don't necessarily have. And that, again, it's that it's easy to go get the, the ice cream out of the refrigerator and scoop up a, bo a bowl of it, but the broccoli takes a while <laughs> to clean and cook mm -hmm. and cook the right way. And sometimes you don't do it right. And sometimes it's like, oh, it's too mushy or whatever. So you might like the broccoli or know you should have it, but the ice cream is easier. Yeah, I actually also in the in the broccoli. I think it's also. Sorry, I just I just wrote down collecting loads of links and to read items from earlier sessions. This is particularly now the open education session uh, um, earlier this week. Um, it was sort of fun in, in the sense that it gave me like this immediate, oh, I, I need to look that up. That looks cool. But it becomes a big to-do list of like broccoli that you brought home from the store, but you don't haven't had time to eat yet. And it becomes this sort of mound of um, yeah, guilt almost okay. that you haven't gotten around to digesting it and or even cooking it. But to, to, uh, Sam, what you said about uh, making the time for reflection for ourselves. Um, what I've noticed, uh, I think that was last week, I wrote a blog post about ungrading that I would never have written if there wasn't a session coming up within this conference where I knew there were other people that I was going to talk to uh, about it. Um, but the act of getting it down, trying to structure it, um, and also sharing that with people and getting the response back, um, for me, that was a good example of something that was both because it's I like writing, I like structuring things, but I never would have done that if it wouldn't have been something that other people might read and use and uh, mm -hmm. respond to. Um, so that was a nice way in which this conference for me combined ice cream and broccoli by mm -hmm. making me do something like that. Bob, that's an interesting <laughs> comment to go back to our um, our broccoli metaphor you know you make broccoli for your kid because you know it's healthy and not necessarily just for yourself <laughs> and it's nice if they eat it yes because my, my kid has been has been having a difficult eating period and yesterday i cooked something i thought he wouldn't eat and he ate it with gusto um so yeah that makes it both useful and more fun if someone else enjoys it good. they're taking the metaphor really well i love it <laughs> <laughs> You should share the blog post in the ungrading channel as well. Uh, I heard it's in the writer's channel. We should share it in the ungrading channel because that's all the people interested in ungrading as well. I will, I will. There's some stuff that's been written that I think we haven't said out loud, but I like that we have both the writing and the speaking. So people who want to write can do that. Does anybody want to read anything out loud um, that they've written but haven't said out loud yet? I've been a scribe during this time and tried to capture a lot of what was going on there in terms of um, thoughts on this, but I really do love um, this move from um, the separation of things that we take innate pleasure in. And I think that ice cream um, concept's really interesting because underneath it all is this notion of pleasure, that we're happy, we're, we're, we're enjoying ourselves and it, we're in the moment. There's also a time concept here, like we're in the moment. While the broccoli, it seems like maybe, actually when we grow up, 
we learn that the broccoli actually tastes good too. You know, it's, a, it's not just, oh, I'm, I don't eat your vegetables. There's something yummy about the broccoli. So we, when we grow, when we become more mature intellectually, I think we take pleasure in hard work too. Um, so there's that just sort of interesting distinction, but the, the problem in the broccoli category from what I'm listening to all of you brilliant people is about time. It's, it, it, it stresses us out because it requires something more of us. We feel burdened by the uh, significance of the broccoli. Um, while somewhere in that blue category of the blend, it's like we found like the flow where um, we can enjoy understanding a little bit of like a deepening of something um but it isn't feeling like a uh, pressure on us and instead it feels like um some sort of gift that makes us see better or see something further so just interesting that time came up a lot the way we feel around time and our our, our use and relationship with time and once you are enjoying something that is valuable, then you lose, you tend, or I tend to lose track of time. Then yeah, it flow, just disappears. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. And it's, we need to wrap up because folks are coming back in uh, from the other rooms very soon. But I was just curious if any of you are interested in, uh, like, can you imagine using something like this in your own practice, whether it's teaching, parenting, workshops? How might you use it? So I teach, you know, I teach writing and we build a lot of, I build a lot of reflect, reflection and metacognition exercises into my teaching. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of times students are even like further away from this. And I can see this as introducing them to the why this is important and to think about why those activities are important because it usually takes a good portion of the semester before they start to see the value in them. Um, and, and often not until their final assignment where they're compiling things into and they're curating their reflections to where they're like, oh, all of a sudden I can celebrate all this stuff that I've done. So I would say setting the, the stage for reflection early on in class makes a lot of yeah. sense to me. Yeah, that makes sense to me too, Sam. It's like it'd be, I, I like, um, I think it was, um, Maha, who said very early on the idea when we were in the blue section of valuable and enjoyed, she said the word habit. And so if we can, it, it's sort of like building out a life habit of reflection and um, of reflexive stance. I think when we can, um, you know, uh, in like if, if we can encourage that early on in learners, that becomes a powerful reference point and the blue category becomes more manifest you know, on a regular basis, rather than it always feeling like the broccoli category. I also think that if I would do this with students, I would perhaps add the fourth quadrant, like that is something you didn't enjoy and was not valuable. Mm -hmm. um, Good point. Because I would be curious which activities my students would put there, uh, mm -hmm. because that would be bad if they both don't like it and don't see why on earth they're doing it, but yeah. it might I would assume some activities would pop up there that I do feel are valuable, um, but then I would want to know that they haven't seen that yet, that it, that it doesn't feel valuable for them, that they yeah. haven't made the connection. Yeah, that's a good point. Definitely. It'll be interesting also to recognize and let them know if there are certain things that some students enjoyed and some didn't. And that's always also an interesting thing that not all students will enjoy the same thing, just like some people like broccoli, you know. Heather, do you want to say something um, before I bring people in the breakout room? No, Sam just wrote that, that that category would be the Brussels sprouts. And I was just going to say, but I like Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are nice. I, just Any, I didn't that know in. that anybody <laughs> likes Brussels sprouts. Maybe Brussels sprouts are a better one than broccoli. There are more people who like Brussels sprouts. Than Brussels sprouts. Okay, but I was thank thinking, you all. Yeah, go ahead. I was go just going to say, ahead. I was thinking the same question. What food would you have for the yeah. didn't like it and wasn't, in, and wasn't valuable category? I was wondering that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I tried this with my students and they had lots of arguments about what the broccoli should be because people <laughs> really did like things that other people hated. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you so much. <laughs>